Hi, this is Brad from PTS, and today I have Howie Heckman with me. And Howie, what do you do at PTS? So I'm one of the lead developers here at PTS, and I deal heavily with the RFID uh, programming. So all the new RFID features that we release with the software, I, I'm deal, I deal with. And um, I know you guys have been really busy lately, Howie, and you've been excited about this new Fig Reader. So maybe you can just give us a little overview of it. And you know, everybody's talking about directionality. It's been a tough thing for most people to accomplish, and it sounds like Fig has it nailed, so why don't you tell me what you found out about this reader? Sure, well you've seen us uh, kind of walking around back and forth in the office, uh, testing out the directionality and moving underneath this antenna. But it's a new unit from Fig that's actually a, a fully packaged uh, RFID reader and antenna. So you can mount it in a single ceiling tile in a number of different orientations, and it actually calculates the directionality for you. Uh, in a nice clean package. So I know we've been doing directionality for a while. We actually have features built into the software for those weird instances where maybe something like this reader wouldn't work or the past readers we worked with. But maybe you can quickly show how people would accomplish and what equipment sure. they'd use for the directionality. I know they started off with maybe like a, a four port RFID reader, but this isn't it they had to mount. What else did they have to sure. use? Sure, so that's the reader there. That's actually is powering up and scanning for tags. However, you also need to consider a lot of extra cabling to attach that reader to the antennas. You have a number of different antennas you need to install. I've okay, seen us use up to eight antennas at a time, so that's how many cables going into this for power and ethernet? So you've got a big antenna cable for each antenna. You have ethernet and you have power running to this reader. So for each installation to do directionality, you have quite a bit of uh, kind of adjustments and installations that you have to make at that portal. Uh, just to do directionality. And now with this new FIG unit, you can actually do this in a clean installation. And one of the things to mention is, in the past, we would see people try to accomplish directionality, and maybe it wasn't perfect, we didn't get great test results, or the price was dramatically higher than the hardware alone. Basically, they would take this hardware and package it inside some sort of enclosure. This is a bit different from what I understand. Right, so this is a fully enclosed solution, allows you to install one thing per location, and all of the features that you would typically get with all of this equipment here is built into Clearstream with these five readers. So let's go outside in a second, Howie. We, I know we have one mounted in the hallway. We've been testing it a while, throwing balls by it. We have dogs running past it, trying to find out which direction people are going. Let's sure. go take a look at it and see what it looks like. Okay, let's put this stuff down. Yeah. Okay, so here we have the five directional uh, reader. You can see the device. It's a nice, clean installation. A uh, single package there, two wires that come out to power it, as well as hook up to your network. So it's a nice clean unit, just track directionality of the tag that we have on our asset here, as well as my badge in just that single package. Yeah, that's great, Howie, because I know a lot of our customers are always trying to find where an asset was last seen, but knowing which way the asset was going makes it so much easier to find that asset with a mobile version of Tracer Plus, let's say. So that time, I guess it saw us coming from the exit location going towards the lunchroom. Is that true? Right, so it captured that direction as it's moving past this device, uh, records that to Clearstream, which records in your database. Uh, so you have both that the asset was in this location at a certain time, as well as which direction of travel it was. The nice thing really about this unit is you could imagine if you're installing these devices at a number of locations throughout a facility, you would have to install all of that other equipment if you're not using this. So you're putting up antennas, yeah, brackets. Yeah, so the installation becomes a big problem. You're trying to determine each location, how it's going to be installed and things like that. This is just a simple installation in the ceiling and it tracks your direction as well as captures the tags. Now I know we're going to do a close-up of this unit in a little bit, Howie, and I think we actually have Klaus from FIG visiting us. We'll sit down and we'll pull that unit off of the ceiling and he can go through all the different features of the unit for yeah, us, okay? So he can give us the details of it and uh, kind of describe everything else that this reader offers. Great news. Thanks, Howie. Thanks, Brad. So it's around 517 and Klaus, well he made it out to the office, you had to fly. Um, Where'd you fly into? Um, JFK from, from Atlanta. Yeah, so you got the pleasure of seeing the Belt Parkway, which is one of the better parts of Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Klaus is, uh, what's your title there, Klaus? At uh, I'm VP uh, Technical Sales for Fike in the US. And what do you do as VP of Technical Sales? Oh, uh, mostly nothing, but <laughs> 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 no. We, so we are working with our customers, mostly system integrators or companies like you guys on the technical side to help them to make um, RFID integration a little bit more painless as in the past. Right. 
so class didn't know he was being signed up for this, but we took down the reader like we said we were going to do, the direct, new directional reader, and now it's Klaus's job to tell us why this reader is better than anything we've seen before, because those are the kind of the performance of how he can speak to it a little bit, what we've seen out of this reader. Yeah, so I mean, far. before you showed up, Klaus, we were testing this in the offices here, um, testing directionality with both badge scanning as well as asset scanning, and we saw great performance out of this, and again, we uh, talked about it in, uh, prior, that the um, installation is the biggest thing. It's clean installation, single unit, plug and play, and you're off to the races, so. Yeah, okay, so like, I don't want to waste a lot of time about the internals. You have seen it working very fine. So we invested quite a ton of time and uh, money to make it happen in this way. But we also looked with a design house to, to get a housing which fits and blends in in a lot of locations without being a, an eyesore uh, or to being a pain for installation. And uh, if I turn in the unit around a little bit, so in a moment, so the bracket is attached here, so this metal bracket goes, goes completely off, and depending uh, what you are choosing, a ceiling or a wall mounting, so you are mounting this bracket to the wall and just hang the reader in and secure it with two screws. So you're suggesting maybe you could put two readers on the wall and one over no, the stuff? No, depending on your application, not even two, because two I would even put only one. Okay. Nah, but uh, depending on the items you are um, tagging, so you, you know, you have to decide if you, the human body is, is shielding too many tags, then you should go to the ceiling which is in most cases preferred, mm -hmm. no, but in a lot of areas, or depending if they are, let's say, even more forklifts are driving items in an area, you can also choose a site on the wall mounting in that area. Oh, so you have flexible no. installation with it. Yes. So no. If you do have uniform position of the tags, you can switch no. where the No, within the two locations. And then the only thing what you need here is power and your network cable to it, and you are done. Uh, and we kept it even, you see, like, because of this simplest, um, simple design, so every technician, every electrician can mount it, so you don't have to send a specialist out, um, which has to position antennas, which has to adjust any kind of angles or something like that. So therefore, we have that compact housing and a nice looking housing on the ceiling. In your video, I saw it was almost invisible on the ceiling, that unit. Exactly, it looked really nice. and it, it, it it yeah. was one of the better looking things on our ceiling. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, uh, anything else you want to add? Or? Well, no, in, in the moment I think both things are important. Uh, you can mount it easily, it looks good. It is, um, you, you don't need a high trained te technician to mount it. And the, which is much more perform uh, important, the performance is that's what, that's what it comes down to, yes. right? <laughs> okay, well, thanks, class. We okay. appreciate it. No problem. You're welcome. Um, Thank you. Yeah, thank Luckily, you're going to be going back after rush hours. Yes. Be safe, right? <laughs> and thanks for visiting.